With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let us start with our question. In this question, what is given? Let E1R, E2R and E3R be, be the respective uh, electric field at a distance R from a point charge in finite, infinitely long wire with constant linear charge density lambda and infinite uh, plane with uniform spherical charge density sigma. Now if E1 R0 at E2 at R0 and E3 at R0, these are values are equal at a distance R0, then we find which of the relation would be, uh, uh, which will be option would be true. Now E1 is the electric field due to a point charge. So we can directly write our E1 value would be equals to what due to point charge it is 1 over 4 pi epsilon. Then if charge is capital Q divided by uh, let uh, at any distance R0 we just calculate then we can just equate it. So it would be R0 square. Okay. So at any location, so we have just calculated it with uh, distance of R0. Now uh, E2 would be equals to or we just write the value as R at any radial location we write the value as R. Now E2 at any distance R this is due to a infinitely long wire. So it is written as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 1 by 4 pi epsilon then it is equals to 2 lambda divided by R. Okay. Now E3. E3 basically due to infinite charge, it, it is irrespective of the distance and its value is constant. We write the value of E3 as E3 would be equal to sigma over 2 epsilon. Okay. Now, first of all, what we need to do? We need to find a relationship between uh, Q and other quantities. So, if we first equate this E1 and E2, if we equate these two values, okay. Uh, so, if we equate E1 is equal to E2, if you put these values for E1 is equal to E2, then what will happen? So, this term. 1 by 4 pi, 1 by 4 pi epsilon, this would be cancelled. Only Q divided by R square would be equals to 2 lambda divided by R. But we are checking for the value R equals to R naught. So we will replace R by R naught. So it would be Q by Q divided by R naught square. This value would be equals to 2 lambda divided by R naught. So from here, we can say that our Q would be 2 times lambda R naught. Q is 2 times lambda R naught. Now here what is given? It is 4 times sigma R naught square. This option, option would be wrong. Now, uh, we need to check, we can check this option also. So, it is basically between lambda. So, we can just equate our E2 and E3. So, if we equate our E2 and E3, that means these two electric field, these two electric field values by equating this. So, E2 with E3, E2 is equal to E3. So, we put the value 1 by 4 pi epsilon. Okay, 2 lambda at a distance of R0. So, so 2 lambda divided by R0, this is equal to sigma divided by 2 epsilon. Okay, so if we solve this, then our R naught value would turn out to be R naught. We need to calculate. So this, uh, this two, this, this, these would be multiplied, and they would be four, and it would be cancelling this four. So this would be gone, and epsilon would be gone. So what would be the value of R naught? It would be equals to lambda divided by lambda divided by pi, this sigma. So if we check our B option, where R naught is given as lambda by two pi R. So this is also wrong. Now in the C option. E1 electric field at 1 is equal to R0 at R0 by 2 is 2 times electric field to uh, uh, R0 by 2. We need to calculate this value. So E1 at R, R0 by 2. So E1 value at R0 by 2 would be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon. Then uh, here it was Q divided by R0 by 2 square. So this would turn out to be 1 by 4 pi epsilon. Then 2 square would be 4. So we can just write 4. Q divided by R0 square. Okay. Now electric field 2 at the same distance. That means R by 2 would be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon. Then it is 2 lambda divided by epsilon. Sorry, R0. So here the uh, distance is given as to be R0 by 2. So here it was R. So we can see here it is given as to be R. So we put the value of R as R0 by 2. Now, from this expression, we, now we can also put the value of lambda. If you put the value of lambda, which we have calculated as uh, lambda here, if you put the value, so it is R0 uh, uh, then uh, pi into sigma. So we can just put this value. So it would be 1 by 4 pi epsilon or we can put in terms of Q. So if you put uh, the value of uh, lambda in terms of Q, so it would be 2Q divided by R0. We are putting this value of lambda. So it is given as 4 R0 and lambda value would be equals to q divided by 2 lambda r naught. So 2 lambda r naught. So what would be this becoming? So it would become as 1 by 4 pi epsilon. 
then it would be 2 uh, q divided by we have already put the value of lambda so there is no need to write lambda so it would be 2 q divided by r not square now from this expression we can see that this factor this factor is same so the here only 2 is multiplied that means e1 is equals to 2 times of e2 so we can just write e1 is equals to 2 times of e2 that means our c option is right and if we check our d option e naught at r by 2 so e2 if we check uh, e2 at r naught by 2 r naught by 2 e2 at r naught by 2 so the value would turn out to be e2 at r naught by 2 if we calculate its value would turn out to be sigma by epsilon okay now e3 value at r naught we know that its value would be equal to sigma divided by 2 epsilon so if we check the final option here so it is given as 4 so uh, there is no relation as 4 but the relation would be 2 so this option is also wrong so the correct option would be the c option hope you understood the solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today